Yesterday, I didn't have enough time to scroll through all the comments and then put up the rest of the shady comments. And then, so right now I'm just going to put them up on the screen because I really like them. And there was one that actually made me giggle. It wasn't actually a shady comment, but Mel S referred to Henry slash Nidhogg as Eggnog. And now I can't think of him as anything but Nidhogg the Eggnog. Anytime anybody who mentions him, I'm just like, yep, that's Eggnog boy. But yeah, today it's a very long do competition video. I haven't had the chance to just work on these videos because I've been so busy and during the vacation I didn't have much time to work on anything else either so I only put up a few event videos but thanks for waiting guys and here it goes Okay, so for Time Souvenir, it was kind of tricky at first because it was a mix of steampunk and then this other type of theme. So it's more of like an Alice in Wonderland galaxy theme, so it would be kind of like the Starlight Serenade and then this time space like this one. However, people decided not to go for this one, which I do like a lot more because I'm into the more mystical theme. And I know a lot more people like steampunk and we haven't had much of a steampunk theme before. Like just using brown, beige, and gold tones for a competition and I've been able to use a lot more clothes that I haven't been able to use previously. Right now I can't change because I just submitted my submission. I'm just gonna go through the top to the bottom like I usually do from the hair to clothes, the shoes slash socks, the makeup, and the accessories. For this time the hair is actually pretty neat because there's no one set hair. Usually what happens in competition is that everybody has the same two hairstyles and then everybody is just a carbon copy of each other. However, if you look through the top 1 to 20, you'll be able to see that almost all of these submissions are different and that the only thing that I can say about the hair is that you want a silver color or a brown color. Silver, brown, silver, brown, well that's blonde, whatever. And okay, I need to make a mention of this one. I really don't like this hair. Like I, I, I don't have anything against this a submission because it's really beautiful, but this hair, the shading is off because this reminds me of the Western Maiden. There's a lot more shadow in the shading. I feel like that there's different artists that work on the hair obviously, but it's just a completely different artist design. There's not much of a rule when it comes to length of the hair. As long as you have a silver or a brown color, it will match your outfit and it will make you look good. Let's move on to the clothes. So it's either the top or bottom or the dress. And over here we see heroine. So in order to get that, you need to go to the fantasy workshop, which is over here on the top right. I can get it right now just to show you how it looks. And the boots are also doing pretty well, but I'm gonna go a different way, so this doesn't really matter to me. Let's go back to here. I bought this and it fits the theme so well. When you think of like the steampunk style, it's kind of an old Victorian or I don't know, like a mechanical Victorian. I'm not too sure about what it actually entails, but this is what I think of. We can use heroin. Wait, am I saying that wrong? Because it sounds like I'm telling you guys to use a drug, but we're using heroin. Heroin, okay, whatever. And maiden's romance. Epic. You can try using Maiden's Romance Rare, but I don't know how well it would be because it's just much less detailed compared to the Epic one, so it looks like this. I think it's actually fine, but I tell you guys to stay away from Maiden's Romance because it's just not that pretty. And I don't think it will get you as many um, likes as you can. Another popular choice is Prime Secretary shirt, but you have to purchase it with diamonds. And as I said many, many, many times before, if you really want to buy the item, then just buy it. But don't waste 45 diamonds in order to win this competition because the most you can probably get back is around 30 diamonds if you have the VIP bonuses and all that. If not, you'll probably be stuck at 25 diamonds if you do get like the top 5%. Steampunk is another dress you can wear. You can get it with the shoes exchange. Just a quick tip and reminder, if you haven't done so already, remember to compound your shoes. I can't really compound anything right now because I only have 25 shards, but a lot of you have realized that you have around like 400 shards and you can compound it into eight pieces of shoes. So what I say here is that if you're stuck between thinking of whether to buy this for the competition or not, it's up to you because there's a few health suits that you actually need to buy stuff from the mystery pavlon, which is Lotus Chant bottom and the lotus chant top and a few other things like the manjusaka so it's up to you i personally would save it because i don't really need it for this competition there are many alternatives you can use aka the maiden's romance epic or the maiden's romance rare rather than spending your crystal shoes on something like this however if you do like this outfit then buy it 
because nobody's stopping you. It's usually paired with the Age of Steam too because as you can see here, it's more of a coat rather than a dress. It won't let you go out without something on the bottom like the Age of Steam. The last free thing you can really do is go by the Tranquil Campus over at the shop. You can pair it up with Classicism, which is this one and you have to exchange it in the mystery pavilion, which is over here. And you can also use another pant, which is sweet filling. And you can get that from recipe crafting. It's actually not that hard to get. You just need to buy the recipe and the meaner blue is really easy to get. And since it's made in chapters anyways that you should be farming for, for the salmon event, then they should just come really easy to you. But let's move down to the socks and the boots. The first thing I would think of is what type of outfit you're wearing, because depending on your outfit, you probably don't need to waste any diamonds or money on the socks. And it's really important to figure it out now because you don't want to buy an entire outfit to realize that you didn't have to waste money on anything else. So for example, for this outfit, she has a really short top slash bottom slash dress and she's wearing boots. Half the time, you probably won't even see the socks, so she opted not to go for a sock but went for like a little leglet, which is the tactical bag. You can get that at the Fantasy Workshop, which is here again. And it's pretty expensive because you have to use earrings. And again, the shoes over here are actually really nice. You can use this for the outfit and I think it just works together really well. She opted for a different approach because she wanted to use shorter shoes. So Fiery uh, Trace is from Beat of the Abyss. It was kind of like a mini hell event in my opinion. And she used these socks, which I really do like. And again, this is exchanging the Room of Mystery, which is called Mechanical Attitude. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not. A lot of people are going for boots like the Magic of Machinery. There's only so many boots you can go for, but it's not the end of the day if you can't get any of them. Because look at me, I just looked for something that was in my shoe category that looked remotely brown. I think it looks brown, unless I'm like colorblind, but yeah. Um, it's pretty brown to me. It's edgy. It's like steampunky. And then as for the socks, anything that's brown works as well. And then we move on to the makeup. So the makeup is anything that has not a fierce look, but a look where it looks like you know what you're doing. So all of these looks have the same not soft look. So for example, what I mean is that a soft look would be butterfly dream, or it'd be moon of whirlwind, or cold pond eyes. However, you want something like Ready Beauty, Yoko, Dream Nocturne. I hope you get a feel for what the makeup is. There's not a guaranteed win depending on your makeup, but the makeup actually does make a really big difference because it can make a difference of the top 20% versus the top 10%. And lastly, let's move on to the accessories. Eternal Clock is a really popular one if you have it. It's from the Alice's Time Gate, which is actually available right now in the boutique. Another very popular one, this is from the Mystery Pavlon. It's called Midnight Corridor and it really works well with this theme. Another thing that you can use is the globe. So the globe is called Constellation and you can get that from Time Yard, which is another pavlon for those of you who don't know. Honestly, any of the books you get from the same pavlon, which is Time Yard, you can get Mountain Books Less or Mountain Books More. But so far, those are the actual ones that you would use the most. And if you don't have any of those, don't worry. Just like use any background where you think that it would work. Another good one would be scattered music papers, but you have to use diamonds to buy it. It's 41 diamonds. However, I do think it's really nice and it's very versatile. So maybe if you're thinking about using it in the future, you could buy it right now. As for face accessories, monocles like retro monocle, which you can exchange in the mystery pavlon, or just any monocle or glasses in general seem to work pretty well. Another one would be Meticulous, which you can get from the Pavlon of Mystery. I'm pretty sure a lot of you would have this by now just because it drops like a billion times for me. And moving away from the head now, we can move on to the things we're wearing. So guns are pretty nice to use. Like, not in real life, obviously. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, shotgun is, you can get it from the suit completion of this one. I can't believe she already spent like 700 diamonds to get it kudos to you. And then you can also get a cane, which is called Retro Clutch. You can also exchange it in the Mystery of Pavlon. Steam Belt also works and even the gear hat works. I'm just going to ignore everything that you can buy from that set now because we already established that any part of that outfit works really well if you decide to buy it. Another one I see a lot are clocks. So if you actually happen to have a clock, then you would use this. It's from a past event, so you can't really get it now, unfortunately. But if you do have it, maybe whip that out. Another good one would be Stop Clock, which is this one and it's also unavailable now which is unfortunate but again if you do have it in your collection maybe whip that bad boy out so right now i'm actually stuck on her tattoo because i really want it i don't know where she got it flame tip oh i didn't know beat of abyss had this tattoo it looks really cool damn but 
a lot of these tattoos, like the thigh ones, aren't really that good because unless you have a really short dress or pants, you won't be able to see it at all. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I added a little twist to it. I actually did get to the top 10% with this one. I was trying to get something lower, but I'll figure it out later. And I know this is um, a blonde hair. Maybe I'll change it to brown and have more luck with it. It doesn't have to necessarily follow my tips here to do well, but it's just a general guide for people who do want to reach the top 20% at the very least. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys later. Bye!